What's up guys, Zeke with East Coast Ken, and as you can tell, the Del Sol has been taped up. We're going to put the wheel covers on, and then we gotta finish taping off the exhaust tip. But before we get to that, I wanna spray the car down really good with some wax and degreaser, and then I'll go over it one more time afterwards, just to make sure that the prep work is 100% perfect. So let's go ahead and get to it. Give her a few pumps, spray it on, and then we just take the microfiber towel and dry it off. And the reason I'm starting up top is that in case anything falls, it falls down. And I can wipe it with a second go. All right guys, so car's been wiped down. Let me finish taping some stuff up and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, y'all, so this is where we're at right now. Sorry about the wind and everything. We uh, we lost air pressure and it just started coming back. So I'm gonna go take a Diet Pepsi and a smoke break while that finishes flashing off and then come back and hit coat number three. All right, guys, so as you can tell, there's like a dry spot right there. Um, it's hard to see, but there's a small run there. So small runs right there. And then up here on the hood, you can see the striping in it. So basically what happened is we have two compressors that run our auto body shop and the auto mechanic shop. And one of the compressors completely shit the bed on me while I was painting. And the other one was in and out. So now what I have to do to fix this is hit it with some wet sanding on a DA. Um... I'm gonna use 1200 because it's all we have. You can see those stripes right there too. Uh, there was nothing I could do about it. So what I did is I went ahead and actually put on four coats of paint. So typically you only want two, maybe three at most, but I knew I was gonna to have to wet sand. So I gave myself an extra buffer to make it to where when I wet sanded, I didn't burn through material. So that's where we're at. Let me get the wet sanding guys. 
All right, guys, so I've wet sanded and see all those swirl marks throughout there. I mean, it's got a nice shine and there's no clear coat, but all those swirl marks and stuff, see all that? That's having to correct what happened when the compressor shit out on us. So the reality of it is, is it's extremely smooth, um, but I can't clear that because it will show through. So I've got one of two options. I can either sand it all down back to bare metal and start over, which I don't have the time and the money for that, or we can put another coat of base coat on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually going to put it back in the booth tomorrow. I'm going to spray one light, light coat, let it flash, and then I'm gonna spray a medium to heavy wet coat. And from there, roll straight in to clear coating. And we'll see if that works. If it doesn't, in a month or two when I get done with some family vacation, we will buy primer, or epoxy primer, 2K primer, base coat and clear coat, and we'll redo it. And we'll do that at the house. Won't have access to the booth. But once I get it done, y'all, that joker's gonna look good. All right, y'all, so we got the hood and the roof wet sanded. This back quarter, the trunk has been wet sanded. And then this backside has also been wet sanded. I gotta do the two, that bar and that bar. This door, this panel still. As you can tell, so because I put four coats on, it didn't quite dry. Um, I probably didn't have enough time in between the four quarts, coats. So there's a lesson learned as well. Instead of the 10 minute flash time, extend it out to 20, 25 minutes if you're gonna be putting that many coats on. Um, lesson learned and basically what happens, I took a gray scotch pad and scratched it this morning and tried to scuff it and let it sit outside for a minute while I was getting all my stuff together. And when I did that, it's got this like shine to it again. So basically what happened is I opened those pores up with the gray scotch pad and it allowed it to actually dry properly. So by the grace of God, I got lucky on that one. So, I mean, you can, you can still see um, 600 grit wet sanding in it, but when it's actually wet, which is an older uh, tip that I learned from somebody, just pour some water on it, and if it that'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like with wet coat, uh, your clear coat. So that's where we're at, guys. Um, I am going to be able to fix this without having to respray it. Now there are a few spots that I burned through. I'm going to have to touch those up, but no big deal. Um, that'll be easy. Uh, same thing with this right here. Like I, I know you can see those lines, but when you actually, it, it, it's not going to show. It's so, so fine and minute. I'm, it's not going to show because I'm also putting another coat, like I said, over everything. A, a, a reduced, very reduced, just a plaster it on basically for a lack of better terms. So that's where we're at with this. And uh, I didn't, didn't get that mirror yet either. But we will, we will get this taken care of. All right, guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next part of the video. guys I was able to save it so long story short when that compressor shit the bed on me um, I had no choice but basically to continue spraying it now ignore that one run right there I will take care of that 
Um, but overall, it turned out phenomenal. Um, what I did is I basically wet sanded with 600 by hand. And then, uh, let's see if you can, yep, there's my ugly mug. Wet sanded by 600 by hand, and then I hit it with 1200 on the DA and then a gray scotch pad because it had been more than 24 hours after I had done that. So I had to scuff it and then I had to put a light dusting of the jet black, which I managed to miss one spot. I mean, if that's the worst case, then, you know, whatever. I've got some extra paint. What I will do at work one day is have my boss show me how to fix something like that so I can learn from it um, because I've never done anything just like that. But, I mean, trunk looks good. Bumper looks good. But, yes, guys, I was able to fix it. So, I'm Eek with East Coast Ken, and that's the Del Sol final paint job. And I will make a future video of tossing the keys to Damien with his new freshly painted ride. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.